People heading to one local theater tomorrow night will only have one movie to pick from. That's because The Rock Church has bought every single seat in all 19 of its auditoriums. So joining us this morning, tell us a little bit about what's going on. Senior Pastor Mike Miles McPherson. Miles, good morning and good, good morning. to see you. Nice to see you. Hey, before we do this, uh, congratulations on uh, baby coming, huh? Hey, yeah. Grandson, not my Grandson. son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's like, no more babies. <laughs> it's oh, no. grandson, little Miles is coming. No, little Miles. Well, congratulations. Your world you is about like to get a, rocked. You don't look like a grandfather. Hey, I'm, I'm going to be cool, Grandpa. Look I'm going to wear you. this kid out. <laughs> wow, that is fantastic. <laughs> Okay, tell us a little bit about this. Like, seriously, you rented out a whole movie theater, every yeah. seat? The Son of God movie's coming out. This is the first movie on Jesus' life in a long time, probably 10 years. And um, so we got 19, the 19 screens. I think one's an IMAX, so the, oh, wow. the movie wasn't made in that format. We have 19 screens. Uh, we have a, a sponsor, John Doring, and um, Compassion International and the church. We're working together. We've given out all the tickets. We have one screen that's all deaf. It's going to be 175 deaf people. Wow. Another screen's all Spanish. The wow. movie was translated in Spanish, so it's going to be a great showing, a great diverse, a gr diverse group of people watching the movie. I want to take a little look, yeah. can we, um, oh, yeah. and see what it's this is, and then we'll talk more about it and like yeah. how people can come. Let's, yeah. let's watch. Which is easier, to say his sins are forgiven, or say he get up and walk. I've had reports of the young prophet of Nazareth. It's rumored he works miracles. They all do. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Pray to him, and he will listen. 5,000 came to see him. 5,000. If you hunger for righteousness, you will be filled through me. Have you, have you seen it? Have you gotten a sneak peek of this? I saw the whole film. What did you think, uh, and what do you think, how do you think audiences are going to react to this? I think they're going to love it. Yeah. You know, when you read the Bible, a lot of times people read it and they, it, it's 2,000 years ago, and did this really happen? But to see the miracles really happen, mm -hmm. uh, to see the empty tomb, which is really the big deal. A lot of people can walk around and teach about God and talk about God. When they do miracles that defy logic and science, and when they rise from the dead and the tomb is empty, you can go, today, he's not there. Right. And people have been looking for him for 2,000 years. That sets him apart from every other religious leader. So to see that on film and be reminded this is true, uh, it kind of blows your mind. Speaking of the setting apart, I mean, there have been dozens and dozens, maybe even hundreds of movies about Jesus, the story of God. What makes this different mm -hmm. than the ones that maybe we've seen in, in the past before, now that you've watched it? Um, I, I think the quality of the film, the quality of the acting and, mm -hmm. and you know, the visual, is, there's no special effects. But, you know, back when we were kids, we had black and white first and then the quality of film gets better. Uh, and I just think they put it together better. I think Mark and Roman did a great job of, of, of depicting his life and the emotion and the drama behind the scenes of what he was going through because you get to see his critics and the people behind the scenes. Uh, scheming to get him. Yeah. Little did they know they were playing into God's ultimate plan that he would die anyway. Uh, but this, when you see all that, you realize the, the raw deal he got and how unfair it was, but yet it was what God's plan was. And, and it, it's going to be encouraging for people who are going through hard times because you're going to see you've never gone through the hard times he's been through. Mm. You know, to have a government come against you and your, your disciples just deny you. You get crucified, you've never done anything wrong in your whole life. And you know, a lot of times when we have bad things happen to us, we feel like, man, oh God, why are you doing this to me? And he says, no, no, look at my son. Then come to me and complain, but I'm gonna take care of you. He rose from the dead. Yeah. You know, if you go to Jerusalem today, the, the tomb is empty. So you can't, how do you explain that? Right. And especially when they put guards, you know, their Navy SEALs, their special forces in front of the tomb, and yet he's gone. So something some miraculous did happen, and, and you can't deny that. You have to really take that into consideration. You mentioned you talked to Mark Burnett and Roma Downey, who are behind this film. Um, the encouragement for them to do this, they've done similar projects in the past uh, on the same subject. So uh, what drove them to do this film? Well, they believe in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and, and this is the most important story in the world. And, yeah. and what better way to spend your money and your expertise and your time uh, than to give the, the, the uh, world the message? I mean, this is what I try to do every week. Yeah. They're reaching hundreds of millions right, of people right. with the same message, um, and it's, a, it's credit to them. And they're really good people, really down-to-earth people. You know, you mentioned it's been about 10 years. Temptation of the Christ was this movie from 10, 11, however many years ago. This thing came with a bunch of controversy, and everybody was up in arms. This one doesn't have that. Uh, what's the difference between the two films for those who maybe uh, haven't uh, seen this one yet? Maybe yeah, saw the I don't other know one. if I saw that one. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I think it was controversial. This, it was this controversial. Is, this is just the story. Right. You know, it's just the story. Right. That's the power of the gospel. Just tell people mm -hmm. 
the story. The story is powerful. It's supernatural. You don't need to embellish it. You don't mm -hmm. need to add to it. Just say what it is. And, and this is just a pure, simple story of Jesus' life. Okay, so let's say somebody wants to watch it. How, where is it happening? How do you have to pay for it? Well, Thursday, we bought the theater. We've given out vouchers. We're, it's packed. We're, okay. we're, we have people call. We have literally had people calling every 10 minutes, coming to our office, uh, church, calling the office, asking for tickets. We don't have any more. Friday, it's open to everybody. It's all over the country, and mm -hmm. it's going to be all over the country in all yeah. states. So. Uh, it's just a, it's just a movie. Just it's gonna, awesome. and every, it's a three thousand theaters. I believe it's coming out on. Wow. I believe it's but, wide uh, release. Yeah. So the people, release. so you bought the tickets and then you just handed them out to people from the church or who? who uh, got both, these both. We, yeah. we we handed out to the church wow. and then we handed out to cool. people in the community. It's an early release Thursday, and so they go out and spread the word. And there are churches all over the country doing the same, same thing. They're buying buy screens out. or theaters. It's gonna be an experience, isn't it? It's you gonna imagine? be exciting. Everybody yeah. at the same time watching. And, and not only that, in this theater, yeah. uh, after the movie's over, I'm gonna be on the screen sharing a gospel message wow. at, at, in all 19 screens. So I get to be on the big screen. Whoa! <laughs> hey. Awesome. <laughs> Your head's gonna be like a huge. Head. My head's gonna be big. On the IMAX screen, and you believe that, Miles? <laughs> well, not on the IMAX. But my head's gonna be like this big. <laughs> I will awesome. truly have a big head after yes. that. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for being here and my uh, sharing this. Congratulations again on the baby. Thank you. Uh, you too? The grand, the, uh, grand, uh, the uh, grandson. Well, we call it the baby. I know, but you know. The grand, the grandson. Your world you is get about to get rocked <laughs> in a exciting. good way. Like the coolest grandfather in the world. Imagine. I know. <laughs> this guy's your grandfather. What? You don't even look like a grandfather. <laughs> Thanks, Miles. You appreciate it as always, Chrissy. He's doing something right. Yeah. All right, guys. Stay